Well, we're the barbers. Let's talk all things wedding. So I asked on Instagram some questions and I jotted down a bunch. Oh my gosh. We don't have to answer all of them, but just tried to pick out most commonly kind of asked ones. But I thought let's just go over a quick glimpse, like very quick glimpse of how the wedding week was set up. Basically, we had our wedding in Paris. Why was it in Paris? It's because it was the first place that we traveled together after we got off the show and we just made so many memories. And yeah, and before we were together, I was, well, no, I guess we were together at that oh, yeah. point. Um, we were just like in the pool. On the show, in the pool. Yeah, and I was like, I think after this, I'm just gonna go to Paris. Like, do you wanna come? And she's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I've never yeah. been. I was like, should we just leave like right now? He kept saying that. He was like, like, we, we should go just... directly from Mexico to Paris. And I was like, well, I was thinking we should just leave. It was, we were like, oh, we the show. Yeah, we were like, oh, yeah, yeah we were like that. two weeks in. I was like, let's just leave. I'm like, why are we even here? Let's just go to Paris. <laughs> like, it would be so sick. You were saying that. I was like, that would be really fun. Um, but we, we waited. We, we were good and we waited until the show ended. And when we could be out and about, we went to Paris. <laughs> like the day after the show ended and it was a dream. So we left Paris, landed on Paris. Got there a week before. Yeah, we got to Paris a week before. So when we got there like Wednesday, the like 16th, uh -huh. I think. And, and then we, we just chilled for a few days, adjusted to jet lag. Chilled, ate, worked out, worked out. And that was really it. So basically the week of guests kept getting in town each day. And so the lobby at the hotel, the Intercontinental, just kept getting like a bigger party and in like a gathering downstairs. Every single day, more and more people would show up, get into town, we'd have drinks. And then Monday we had welcome party on a boat by the Eiffel Tower. Insane. It was iconic. We should do that every time we go to Paris. Yes, it was <laughs> so fun. So we did that. The welcome party was Monday, then Tuesday was the rehearsal dinner day at the Chateau. Um, so it was kind of a break day for guests in the city, but it was like an intimate dinner that day. We got to chill around the Chateau all day. They hung out in the pool. Um, Had some beers. Yeah, very chill <laughs> rehearsal dinner day. And then that night was the rehearsal dinner, which was outside. It was just beautiful and sentimental. Everybody was giving speeches. Yeah, it was just like family style. Passed around plates, it was great. Yep. Love the rehearsal dinner. And then Wednesday was the wedding at the Chateau. It was called Chateau de Villette. And there's so much to dive into. So let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if there's a whole order with these. So let's just take a whack at it. But why don't we start with um, how many guests do we have at our wedding? I think it was like 130. We invited. 200-ish, we were or less. We were very surprised at how many RSVPs Yeah, maybe we, we invited got. like 160, and I would say like 85 to 90% of the people said yes. We were shocked. We also initially planned for a much smaller number. Do we plan for like 75? Well, we, we went through the rough list in the very beginning, and we were like, oh my god, this is like 100, 100 people. Like, can we cut this down at all? Then we're like, no. Oh, we definitely thought there was going to not be that many people there. So we were like, oh yeah, it'll probably be around like 70 people when we were planning for food and stuff like that. And it kept uh, inching up, which is great, but we just didn't expect it. But yeah, yeah, I think we ended up having maybe around 130. We could probably go through and count. Yeah, like but... 120 to 130, I would say. We had like three people back out at like a week before, but I mean, that happens. So. Yeah, we were pretty shocked. Oh, oh, okay, for invites, the guest color palette. I saw like a TikTok on this where apparently like that could be controversial and I was surprised. Really? Um, yeah, like telling guests like what color palette to wear and stuff. I was just surprised, but basically each day, so welcome party, we just said bold cocktail attire. So whatever that means, just honestly like cute cocktail attire. I wasn't like picky with it, but we had like fashion mood boards and stuff like that, that our planners, W Society, they Crushed. created everything for us. So that was great. So on our website, which we made through Minted, 
um, it was like it showed inspo for all each day what to wear and a whole color palette and everything like that color scheme the first day welcome party was bold colors the second day was like floral garden party vibes and then wedding day we did black tie neutrals I was rooting for all black I he said, really wanted I said, all black. Everyone should wear black except for Hannah. I think it's regal. I didn't hate it. But we I went just, neutrals, it's fine. We did neutrals. I thought it kind of went with the chateau vibe. Um so if you have a problem with that, get over it. Just kidding. But the invite said attire black tie neutrals. Yeah. Yeah, I, I it you don't want people showing up in like neon, you know green or something it would have been fine but i i, I it, it just it went with, it, it <laughs> went with the vibe you know like it it just worked and the fact that it was like destination like they had to plan their trips beforehand and all the stuff so they probably had to plan their outfits so everybody followed it like it yeah it was great in my head i was like somebody's gonna show up in like a red dress or something because they didn't read it but everybody followed the rules was i great. was surprised no guys showed up in because everyone wore a tux except for Nick. <laughs> Nick wore like a. And Jason. And Jason. Ja we'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> but, but other than that, everybody, everybody was in the in the dress coat. Um, it also just looked really aesthetic for the wedding photos, which I kind of like. Obviously, that's fine. Transportation. We can go through this really quickly, but basically, the chateau was forty minutes outside of the city in Paris, so we were like guests we recommend you stay in the city so you can explore have good dinners hang out whatever um but we had buses pick up guests and they knew which what time and everything they received an itinerary on the welcome party and it was on the website um but we had multiple buses show up to the intercontinental hotel and it took them to the chateau and then we had two we had an early bus that left at like 11 and then we had a late bus that left at like 2 a.m yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we did that. The first look thing. For a while, we went back and forth on doing a first look. I'm really happy we did. I think it calmed my nerves. That's where we took the photos before. Oh. As soon as the ceremony ended, he was like itching to get out to the cocktail hour. Like he was like, let's do these family photos really quick. But I think if me and you had to do a whole photo shoot while everybody's at the cocktail uh, hour, yeah. you would have really not liked that. Yeah, that was a big thing for me. It was taking photos before. I mean, I think we took photos for an hour and a half before or an hour. Yeah. Uh, like early in the day, like two o'clock or something, two or three. And then we only did 15 minutes of family photos after the ceremony. And then we got to like go enjoy the yep. cocktail party. I like. Being gone for an hour and going and taking photos, like just, I would have been awful. Do you feel like seeing each other down the aisle for the first time, do you feel like that would have been more special for you not seeing each other before? Or do you feel like it didn't change anything? I don't think it changed. I just, I really valued like being able to, all these people flew out there. So I, like, I wanted to spend as much time enjoying everything as much as possible. So yeah, I mean, I, in no, I was 100%, let's do a first look. I, I was worried, not worried, but like in my head, I was like, will it still feel special walking down the aisle? And it 1 million percent did. Yeah. It's such a different experience, like walking down the aisle and you see all your guests there and the Dylan and like, I felt like it was still very, very special walking down. So I couldn't recommend a first look enough. I yeah, really, it was great. I really liked it. And then it. you get to just enjoy time with everybody. Well, and me and you got to hang, and we out, got to hang out with everybody. Like we're walking around the cocktail hour. Like I'm like, oh yeah, this is my aunt and uncle from Alabama. Like it's stuff like that that we would have not really been able to do. Yeah. So. I mean, think love. about it. If we didn't walk around during the cocktail hour because we didn't walk around during. We're not walking. Yep. Yeah, which we yeah. Uh, we wouldn't have seen those people. Yeah. So, talented recommend. A first look but you do you um let's see what went wrong during the wedding or wedding week nothing went wrong monday for the well welcome party oh well oh, we forgot wait okay wait <laughs> what 
we get a call on Monday and apparently the payment since it was in Europe like this was something we kept running into with sending money over from the US to Europe is like wiring is so different and there's bank holidays and just things are just weird and things don't approve. So we actually ran into almost not having the chateau. They literally said, if we if we don't get the money by noon today. Yeah, they were like, it's like a bank heist. Yeah, they're like, if we don't get it by noon today, you can't, come. You can't come. And I was like, this is Monday. Our wedding's on Wednesday. I was like, wait, what? I wasn't stressed. He wasn't stressed for some reason. It's, it's for my finance bros. So when you purchase euros, you gotta, you gotta transfer currency trades, no big deal. That It takes like, I don't know, 24 hours to sell, something like that. And we bought them on Friday. We wired them Friday. And they're obviously not gonna go out over the weekends. It went over Monday. And I was like, it's fine. Nobody's ever really But wants. they literally were threatening. They were like, you cannot check into this place. We will not let you have, like, like it like won't happen. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like freaking out. And then randomly at like 11.45, yeah, it goes through. Yeah, it see, goes through. I was like, see, it's and, But I was like, wow, we don't have a venue right now. Like, this is scary. <laughs> like, what's going on? And we couldn't call the US to be like, hey, will you send this? Like, I was trying. And they're like, all of the offices are closed because the time changed. They were like, no. Well, then they said, and then she said, like, she was like, I don't see it. Yeah, she, <laughs> the bank was like, well, I don't see it. And I was like, well, it, it Set. It was just, anyways. Monday was fine. Tuesday was fine. Yep. Wednesday. So basically, we spent like I don't know three hours, more or less. We spent a long time on our playlist. That's yeah. What you're gonna say. Yeah. The music is paramount to having a good party. It's everything. It's and everything. We've been to weddings, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like the music is just. And my friend, vibe. my friend Bryce is like, he's just like big on playing good music and the entire week or honestly month leading up to it, he was like, hey, this one the DJ better not mess up. Like this is big, a lot of pressure. So we make a playlist. Hannah has like classical songs that we're gonna play during dinner. We give him the Spotify playlist, I don't know, a week, two weeks before or something like that. Like, hey, listen to it, make like the slow songs or for dinner. And then it or, goes then into it goes like into a like few party music. pop ones. And then at nighttime is when it goes to the old school, like sort of get them up my bottom jeans, like, at the end of the night, you know what I mean? Like so a few fun, I, it was very strategically We planned. do the first dance, we go sit down, they start to serve it's dinner. time for dinner. The is sun it, is still up. The sun is setting kind of. It's, it's yeah, it's very vibes. classy. Everyone's like, oh, this is wonderful. They're pouring wine and we've got espresso martinis flowing. The, appetiz the, the appetizers the, are being passed around for dinner. Like they're like the putting first, the soup The down. first song he plays is Get low with like teammates like Shawty got them apple bottom jeans. Boots. Literally, and we're, we're all sitting, sitting there, and I hear and forks like, clinking and stuff like that because people are starting to eat into their dishes, and it's literally like boots with the fur with the fur. The whole, and I was like, where's my parent trap music? Where's Frank Sinatra? Where's like I was literally like, wait, this is actually like and, an and issue. No, nobody cared. Like we, no. it was like us. We were really the only it's people who like there, noticed like, it. And then the, the next song. And then we're like, Wait. there's no way. There's maybe he just like picked the wrong song. The next one's Run It. And he's like, uh, with Chris Brown. No, the, and no, that was the last one. Oh. And so the next one's Run It. So and, the first which one is a really fire song to play during the wedding. And then we're like, all right, if he messes up again, we're gonna have to go uh, and we're talk gonna to have to go. Day. Like there's no way. He's choosing the end of the night songs for this romantic yeah. dinner. And then <laughs> And the next song is like, oh, ski, ski, mother. Oh, to the wall, to the wall. And I'm literally like eating my soup. And I was like, oh. I put my soup, I was like, oh, you gotta, gotta cut this off. So you we were like, you gotta. So but he doesn't speak English. So we, yeah, so that's that what we ran into. Issue. We loved our um, the, the, like DJ and music group. They were yeah. just so talented and so amazing. The DJ just didn't speak any English. And he was like, I guess a little older. And so, but he's just choosing, he's randomizing songs. And I'm like, what is going we're, on? We're I, trying to put I literally, in I'm, I'm translator like, app and. Uh, and then my maid of honor is like, I was like, tell them anything from the parent trap, anything from the parent trap, like, please, anything. And then it. Yeah. Was fine. So then we but that was, it, it, but I mean, that was the, really but the only. We were sitting thing. there, and I was like, I'm definitely gonna be dying laughing at this sometime soon. It but was right funny. now, why is this song still yeah. on? It was like the. It was just 
It's funny. It was funny. It's like very nice dinner. And he's like, till the sweat drop down my balls. And it's like a chateau balls. in Paris, yeah. And we're like, oh, these bitches crawl. And I was like, whoa. This is like the worst three songs you could choose for this dinner. Yeah, it, that was pretty brutal. And honestly, that was it. I mean, it sprinkled for maybe 30 seconds. Yeah, so it started raining a little Just bit. Just good luck. Um, that was a little scary. Apparently they saw that there were rain clouds, but nobody was telling me about it. Cause I was like, I'm not checking the weather. I know it's going to be good weather. I'm manifesting it. Like I'm not checking it at all. And it started sprinkling. Everybody's like, I think it's going to be okay. And I was like, yeah. well, and it was. And, and so, it passed. so we're good. That, I mean, honestly, no complaints, but I think it leads us into our next question. Any regrets that we have? And the biggest one for me is we kept saying we've been to weddings where they walk around <clears throat> while guests are eating and they like have a little small talk and greet them and we really wanted to do that but we ended up fast forwarding through all the speeches instead and then me and my dad's father daughter dance went straight into dancing so we didn't get to go around and like be like hey how's it going like so we yeah mine would be kind of similar i wish we could have gone to like 3 a.m. or because we had a sharp cutoff at two, and it come after this like we were after two speeches and it was already like like mm -hmm. 10 o'clock or something, mm -hmm. and we were like this is not enough time and so we just rapid fire we just said no breaks next speech one after the other and then we're going into dancing, so either I wish we started earlier so we would have had more time to party because like yeah. our friends and our family are like we're just big dancers and like hanging out and socializing and drinking espresso martinis. Mm -hmm. And we, and I would say like, I felt like we didn't get enough of that time, but I mean, it was like three and a half hours at the end of the Does day. Does anybody so, ever want their wedding to end? I guess that's also true. Like I could have gone, and to, also, we that's stayed, but then we stayed up until, didn't we stay up until like three, yeah, three, probably three, around four, three. Or something like that. We stayed up, like everybody was at the pool. So, oh, so, oh and then so, we, oh. I forgot about that. The after party? Well, then we jumped in the pool. Oh yeah, so, well, I mean, this isn't a question, but I don't think many people have any photo, the photographers and videographers had already left, but as soon as it ended, a lot of people took the shuttles back and whoever felt like staying, you could stay, you just get an Uber home. So whoever was left at the chateau, we went into this like cave under the chateau. I don't have any photos from it. Not, yeah. Like I didn't have my phone most of the night. And it was like this literally underground cave thing. And they had like chicken nuggets, and pizza and burgers and more drinks and stuff like that. I don't even know if it was, I don't was know a bartender. They, I think it was just bottles. There were just bottles of right? Portaleza in there. Which is our favorite tequila. It's the only tequila we allowed to yeah. be served the whole week. Obsessed with them. But we went to this little after party thing and it was so much fun. And what were we even doing in there? I think we were just laughing, hanging out. It felt like we, didn't we were have, actually we, Yeah, we didn't even have music. We were just, <laughs> we, everybody was just hanging out. Like the parents were starting to crash a little. And yep. then we went to the pool. And, and then we we're music. like, let's keep it going. Then we play music at the pool. We jump in the pool. Yeah, that was fun. I had to, I kept saying, I was like, I want to jump in that pool at some point. And it happened. Yeah, and then we went to sleep. The next day was, I don't say it wasn't even that hungover the next day. I was just tired. Like we went. We were pretty worn out. We were everything. worn out, and then we had a 7 a.m. flight to Mykonos the next day. And I was like over here, like this is just, I mean, whatever. But the next day after our wedding, I know I'm jumping around a little, but I was like, I really want to like post stuff, and basically like we told all of our. So so we had a an exclusive with people, so we were like wanting to hold off until the US time the next day for that to go live. So we couldn't post anything on our end really. And so the next day I was like, oh, I feel like posting stuff. I didn't really take into account like we we're gonna be leaving the chateau and getting checking into a new hotel and all this stuff. So I'm just like posting stuff all the next day for like six hours, which I enjoy doing luckily, but it was definitely like a lot of like work and exciting. I was like, wow, all of our guests are about to post the next day at 6 p.m. like it's happening, so I want to repost their stuff and see their memories. So I don't know. Like I was like posting all the next. That day. was nice though. That we we went to the we took a little bus or car to the hotel, checked the next in day. the next day, 
We literally just ordered a bunch of room service. That was nice. Sat there, watched TV. Went and to I sleep. was like posting, posting but we didn't away. I feel like we didn't sleep that well. I right? didn't sleep that well because we had to wake up at 4 a.m. the next day for our flight. So yeah. I didn't really sleep. But to the buddy moon. To the buddy moon, which actually is, is a question. A question. They were like, do you recommend a buddy moon? Why a buddy moon? I don't even know if it's called a buddy moon, but basically after our wedding, before our actual honeymoon, which was in Maldives, we were like, we're already all going to be in Europe. And the flights are like 60, 70 bucks. It's so inexpensive to travel out there. We're like, what if we all just get a place and go to Mykonos and just keep it going? Since we got married on a Wednesday, let's spend the weekend in Mykonos. Best time ever. Best time ever. Like, yes, we were exhausted. I wasn't even tired. Honestly, I don't, you know. I wasn't tired. I, I was honestly tired. I don't think I was either. I was tired on the Sunday flight or the Monday flight after Leave Mykonos. It. Then I was tired. We were on such up, an adrenaline high up until then, yeah. And then that, and and we the during the daytime we would all sleep in late and like chill all day. Then obviously we would go out at night. Yeah. For Mikados, but ten out of ten recommend. Okay, menu. Let's talk about the food. Insane. It was all so good. Do you have the menu? The menu was phenomenal the entire week. We used Chakra Events. They're based in London, and we had. Um, met the like one of the chefs there um, on vacation when we went to Maldives a few years ago a few times he's amazing and they Free do shop. creative stuff and it's just the best so we'll read off our menu we were very excited about it appetizers pork bao buns baba ganoush steak tartare soft boiled quail eggs in the steak tartare soup french onion soup Everybody got a French onion soup. Mains, we did beef wellington, saffron mash, and rainbow carrot pepper jus. We did a rack of lamb with a shallot puree, butter, buttered heritage carrots, a chicken breast with spinach and rosemary potatoes, potato gnocchi with wild mushroom and black truffle ragu, eggplant parm, spinach and ricotta cannoli with Parmesan cream. Dessert. Raspberry mousse and fruit tartlets. Then we had a donut bar. We had late night snacks where we had chicken nuggets and pizza, which is amazing. I had the Wellington. I got the beef Wellington. They were so good. But I also asked for a rack of lamb too. Oh, yeah. So I ate both because I'm a big boy. And then I think that was it. That's really all we ate that So night. another question on here was did you have a wedding cake? And no, we did a donut wall. That was another regret. We never once went to the donut wall. I didn't eat the donuts. And I yeah. love donuts so much. And they literally made them like homemade, like beautiful. And I kept seeing photos of them, but they were up on the second floor. I, we just, we were too busy dancing, but I yeah. never tried a donut. We never even went and, and looked at it. And they were so good. And I know they were so good. I'm sure like everybody was like, the donuts were so good, but we never did a wedding cake photo thing. Mm -hmm. Did we have a sweetheart table? No. No. We, we wanted to hang out with our friends. Yeah, we wanted to sit by our friends, especially being that far away. Um, I felt like we were able to like actually hang out, just me and you, even at the table with everybody. Like, yeah, we did a good job. And, and even afterwards, we just like found each other during the night. And a lot of our friends are friends too, so it wasn't like this whole weird, like, whatever. So we had our table, um, which had the wedding party, me, Dylan, and then each of our four. Um, just the wedding party. Yeah, wedding party and their plus ones. And then the other smaller table was family. And then we had three long tables of, what, 30 should... people each? No. Three, six, nine? I don't think so. I think it was more. 40 people at each long table or something Ish. like that. Yeah. Farewell walk? No. Do we do a farewell walk? No. We kind of, honestly, we were like, we don't want to fake a walk. I, I've been to weddings like that and it's totally fine. Or just do an actual one. But, Take a walk and go to bed. <laughs> well, we were literally staying at the chateau, so it didn't make sense. I felt like the firework moment was really the big, like... Insane. Yeah, like that was like kind of the ending of the night. And I mean, we kept dancing after, but it was a good like core memory ending moment for at least like a photo op too. And it was just honestly insane. They, the fireworks were my favorite memory of the whole night, I think. One of the top few. Maybe things worth splurging on versus saving on. 
what would you have saved on? I mean, I would have saved on like flowers. I didn't think we really needed, I didn't think we really needed that, that many. Like if I, if I had to, if I had to pick, like the venue was beautiful enough that we didn't really need a crazy amount of flowers. Splurge on, I mean, I thought the fireworks and the food- So worth it. The fireworks, the food were, I mean, it wasn't even close. Like it was just insane. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, hands down. The fireworks, guys, when I tell you, like- It was 15 minutes you're, long. You're standing there and they were bigger than you could even see up. Like my entire line of vision was filled up with fireworks. We didn't know that they were going to be that insane. Yeah. Nobody did. And we did one of the song for the fireworks. We did the roses. chain smokers. Yeah. Roses by the chain smokers. Cause it was like Dylan's fun. He's always like play roses. Like that's his thing. And then the second one I did sweet home Alabama just because I was like, how funny. Like we're in Paris at a chateau and I'm playing sweet home Alabama. It was fun. And shout out to the calligraphy girl. Yes. Um, that was something that was sick. I, I would, really liked that. I would, recommend anybody like if you can to add like is it a calligraphist is the right way to say it calligraphist calligrapher I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess the, um calligrapher and at right. each event she was like engraving different items we had necklaces we had like for the guys we did cufflinks and i thought cufflinks. that that it was so sick yep. um just like a cool custom cufflinks engraved i was like this is like one of the dopest things ever so yeah yeah why did you have three dresses um, I have an entire video dedicated to that coming soon, so stay tuned. Okay, budget or general budget. I definitely don't want to talk about like exact numbers. I think that's like six super weird. million dollars, a billion dollars. Um, but I feel like generally, um. I mean, yeah, generally it was expensive. <laughs> like, it, it, the, where, where things rack up is food and, and drink, like. I think the most expensive for us was food. Yeah. Definitely. And then, um, decor really, I think really kind of can add up in some ways and stuff like just. Yeah, like food. That's like just, like just cater, and, catering and. Yeah, all yeah. of that just. I feel like adds up the most. Um, we got a few things like discounted and sponsored mm -hmm. and stuff. Which was great. Yes, but I will say the tricky thing about Europe is. You, yeah, European companies don't. Yeah, like Europe, European companies or French companies they don't benefit like so Dylan we didn't and I go we on have Love Island UK. Yeah, we went like, on Bachelor in Paradise. We have <laughs> US audiences, so it's not really like worth it to do any type of trade, which is totally fair. So we were really happy to cover the majority of the expenses and stuff, um, because we can very luckily. So um some of it was sponsored, we were really grateful for that. Some of what we paid for and then um some, we had some gifts from our parents, which is very sweet. I think that's, that's a general That's the most sober budget. part of the wedding. It's like when all the vendors come to get paid like the week before, it was awful. I felt like we were emailing our the week financial before, advisor every like five minutes. Kyle. It was like, why are, why are, why are, we were like, whoa, like this is adding up. But, um, yeah. but you know, that that's, that's a wedding for you. So it is what it is. It was a pretty sick party though. It was really <laughs> fun. Was it worth what we spent? It was worth it. It I was 100% so so worth it. I think so too. Because it was the whole week in general was just yeah. so fun and so many people left with their own core memories and like new friendships. Like people were in different group chats together and they were all going out together and having a good time. Like that's what for me like made it like, oh my gosh, like a yeah. million percent worth it. Now we're married. Okay. And then we got these. Oh yeah, we got rings. Oh yeah, people were wondering. So Dylan's beautiful ring that he is getting used to, I would say. I take it on and off. This is his. 50 times a day. He has this beautiful like gold ring. And then I got one that was similar to my ring, 
the band is the same. So it's like a, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a daintier diamond band. Very beautiful. And yeah, is there anything else you want to spill about wedding? I would get married to you every year. No. We also had a good time. I think we did good. A lot of people kept saying, like, my advice to you would be to, like, not split up. And Dylan kept finding me. He'd be like, Hannah, come on, come dance. Like, that, you did a really good job at, like, staying with me the whole night, which was fun. I love getting married to you. It's fun. Love my wife. Love my husband. <laughs> Um, anyways, okay, so that's like the general questions. There's so many things to dive into, just so much. But if you want a part two, comment below. Oh yeah. What we'll other questions? Two. If you want a part two, I might be going in depth on stuff. I have a in-depth wedding dress thing coming soon. And we can leak who is hooking up with who. Ooh, there was some juicy stuff going on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But sorta. Of. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no um but thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for all the support that's just the coolest part like i wasn't even originally planning on doing like a whole wedding q a but all of you guys just made us feel so special and you're like wow this is like the coolest wedding ever but for us like honestly at the end of the day it felt so wholesome even though it was all the way in paris like we had so many fun moments with our friends and family and together and it was just really special so i love that you guys pick up on that and um i hate that we can't get married again maybe, maybe, maybe we can start a trend year. yeah maybe next year we'll get we'll married get next married year again year. it was just so much fun but yeah i will or we will see you this is now a family channel this is the barber family channel i do need to change my last name at some point but that's another day but anyways see you guys next time love you